welcome to the EGA blues trick, the one finger riff Isis doesn't want you to know about. Now I'm going to teach you that riff plus two variations. Before long, you'll be coming up with your own variations on this riff. Okay, let's get right down to it. Here's a close up on the riff I just played for you. Okay, now what makes this a trick? Because I'm using a single finger to play an E power chord, an A major chord, and then I'm letting go completely to achieve my G chord. So let's walk you through that. The E power chord. I'm stretching across five of the strings, but really all my pressure is on the fourth and fifth string. When I strum, I'm strumming the sixth and fifth and possibly getting the fourth string in there a little bit. Now, if you learn to come in at just the right angle, and put just the right pressure on the 5th and 4th strings, you can dampen out the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd so the listener doesn't hear those anyways. So you don't have to be quite so careful when you strum because the listener is only going to hear what you intend for them to hear. Okay, next comes the open G. I call it open G because really all it is is the open 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. The D, G, and B notes, that fulfills the requirement of what a G major chord is. That's all you have to do. Just be careful to only strum the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. Okay? Next comes a one finger A chord. You can see why I call it a one finger A, right? I'm squeezing at the 2nd fret. I'm putting all my pressure on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. And I'm probably dampening out that 1st string there because I'm emphasizing all my pressure on the fourth, third, and second. I'm coming in at just a little bit of an angle onto the fretboard so the first string is deadened out, which again frees up my picking hand to not be so worried about hitting a wrong string. Now, my picking hand is concerned about strumming the fifth, fourth, and third, possibly the second string as well. So a one finger A chord. So that's the trick at work here. Instead of playing a traditional E and a traditional G and a traditional A chord, I'm playing a one finger E power chord, my open G, and my one finger A chord. Got it? And by the way, once I hit that A, I can let go, and that's essentially doing a pull off back to the G. It's gonna be quieter, that final G chord, but that's okay. Here's a nice variation on the EGA blues trick. So my one finger E power chord, shifting over to my one finger A major chord, and finally my open G. Now instead of strumming the open G, you could achieve that open G by pulling off on the one finger A chord to get that open G sound. Watch this. And I'm not simply lifting off the open A, I'm tugging a little bit. There's a little bit of friction there. I'm tugging as I let go of the A. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm scraping my fingertip across the strings. Okay, so there we have the G-A-G, -G, ending on the E power chord with a nice little syncopated rhythm there. Okay, just one more variation in our one finger E-G-A blues trick. Now, before I wrap up this video, I want to point out something. What I'm showing you here is not intended to replace a traditional E chord or a G chord or an A chord for the rest of your life. Of course, it's important to learn these traditional chords, E, G, and A. But this is a, a way of achieving a certain sound with one finger that is not only practical, but it's out there being used all the time. There's no reason why you can't do it too, okay? But of course, go ahead and master your traditional E, G, and A chords as well, okay? 
This is not a means of avoiding those chords completely. It's just something that guitar players do all the time, and there's no reason why you can't master it too. The EGA blues trick has a lot of possible variations. For those of you who'd like to turn this into a 12-bar blues, you can resolve to the A chord instead of always going back to the E chord, or you can resolve to a B7, which is the 5 chord in our context here, in the key of E here. So, a lot of possibilities. Also, you can capo up this riff so that your fingers will still think you're playing the same old thing, but you'll know you'll be in a different key. So don't forget to try that out as well. Well, thanks for watching the EGA Blues Trick, and don't forget to check out my website, www.song-bike.com, for a lot of great videos. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody.